Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to register your first Parrot device and create a professional account in the process. There are two key steps to a device registration. Your device must first be registered to a professional account and then the device needs to be registered to an end user account. Start by going to extra.com and click on the My Extra tab. To begin the registration, click on the Register a new device button. Enter the serial number, which you can find on the side of the unit or on the packaging the unit came in, and then click Next. If you already have a professional account, select Yes and log in to your account. If you are a new user, select No and click Next to create an account. Choose a username and password for your professional account. Professional accounts are used by the installers to log into myextra.com. The end user will have an end user account to log in to the Parrot device, the Parrot app, and connect the device to Google Home or Amazon Alexa. Then enter your company information. This step is optional, however, we highly recommend that you enter an email address. As without an email address, we can't do password recovery. In the next step, you can choose to register the end user here, or you can do it later in the Parrot app. In this example, I will create an end user account here. Next step is to choose if you'd like to register the end user on the professional account. The answer is usually no, unless you plan on using the device yourself as a demo device. If you already have an end user account and wish to register another unit to that account, select yes and log in to the end user account. If you don't have an existing account for the end user, select no. Enter a username and password for the end user account. With the end user account, you can log in to the Parrot device, the Parrot app, and connect the device to Google Home or Amazon Alexa. Here you can enter the end user's information. This is also optional, but we recommend you enter a valid email address for password recovery. Lastly, check that all the information has been entered correctly. If you want to be notified of new software updates, you can tick this box. And when you are finished, click register. Thank you.